Hey guys, Ollie here. Sorry I didn't have the live watch along for as long as I uh, said I would. I, I was crashing and I didn't want to fall asleep while streaming because then there would be like a god knows how many hours stream of me sleeping and possibly snoring and nobody wants to watch that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it might get some curiosity watch time on YouTube, I don't know. Anyway, here are my actual thoughts on Fastlane now that I've uh, seen it in full. Uh, I think I mostly predicted the results right, uh, although the Andrade Rey Mysterio match became a fatal four-way for the United States title, which was won by Samoa Joe who retained. And I really liked that match, that was a really good match. <laughs> so yeah, all good there. So let's go down the, uh, the order shall we? Sorry. Uh, first off, SmackDown Tag Team title match. Usos retained, as I predicted. And then Shane McMahon turned heel on The Miz. It's still weird to me that The Miz is face. But, yeah. That happened. And I don't really care where this is going, if I'm being brutally honest. And I don't mind The Miz these days. I used to be a hater. I, uh, I don't mind him. He's pretty good at what he does. Like, he's... I don't know how he's going to work as a good guy. <laughs> I, I just... But I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, and being proven wrong in my scepticism. So let's hope that's what happens. Uh, what was after that? Well, the Raw Tag Team title match was, was good. I liked it. And... Unless I'm very much mistaken and still delirious from having watched it last night. The Revival Retain. Yeah. Um, I'm still high as ever on Ricochet and Alistair Black. But, um... Oh, got the Kofi thing. Where they said, the title match is going to be a triple threat. Get out there. And it turned out he just put him in a handicap match to punish him for... Daring to want what he was originally promised. <laughs> and then it was a triple threat match, but they... <laughs> they put Mustafa Ali in instead. I like that. Because I like Mustafa Ali. And it might just be because his entrance has this whole Iron Man slash Sub-Zero cosplay thing going on. And I think that's cool. But yeah, I enjoyed that match. I'm just hopping about all over the place here. Uh, yeah, the Becky Lynch Charlotte Flair match ended exactly as I said it would. Ronda Rousey attacked her. That was basically the easy way out for this one. Well, it was the only way that made sense, really. You couldn't have Becky Lynch legit beat Charlotte Flair on one leg, because that makes her look bad for WrestleMania. Like, this is the only way to keep everyone's momentum going. So yeah, all good there. Um, women's tag team title match. Um, they retained. <laughs> Sorry, they were retained and then they were attacked and then Beth Phoenix and oh, Natalia. Sorry, brain freeze there. Beth Phoenix and Natalia uh, got involved, so maybe they'll uh, be in contention at some point, or maybe it was a one-off thing. But either way, I'm glad that the boss and hug connection retains because Bailey's still my favourite, and um, her match with Sasha Banks in when she won the title at Takeover is still one of my favourite matches. I've got a lot of favourite matches. <laughs> there was that. Oh yeah, the I didn't watch the pre-show, so I didn't see the um, Biggie and Xavier Woods versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev match. So, I don't know, I might go back and watch that, but I never watch the pre-shows. <laughs> I'm a bad wrestling fan. Mm -hmm. Elias was pretty good all throughout the night. He does his thing about as well as he ever did. And the... Six-man tag at the end, well, it was a fireworks display celebrating its own existence. 
like, you know, you got the shield taking them all out and then hitting the triple power bomb and it was a spot fest. It didn't start out that way, but that's what it turned into. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. One last hurrah for the shield, I'm all for that. And, uh, yeah. Fast lane was kind of disposable, really. But, you know, there's nothing... It, it was a solid night of wrestling. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to WrestleMania now. They'll probably ramp up the, uh story progression because it's less than a month away so well this will probably be the last i'm speaking on fast lane and on wrestling in general until the podcast this friday which uh we'll be talking about raw and smackdown so i'll see you guys then and i hope you enjoyed fast lane